right, so I don't know if any of you have ever had any regrets in your life. I know there are like some people who are like, oh man, I don't regret anything that I do. It's just a learning experience. Well, that's not me. There are things that I've done that I regret. And this video is going to be about some things that I wish I would have done prior to PA school. Although I have completed PA school and I've graduated and that is great and all nice and dandy, there's like one major, major, major regret that I have about like not doing this like prior to PA school and like while in PA school. And then like the others are kind of like, you know, maybe like 2B, 2A type of stuff. So that's what this video is gonna be about. What's up you guys, it's Adana and welcome back to my channel. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe. Join me on this journey. Take a look around my channel. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you have any questions on anything or any video ideas, please go ahead and do that right now. Leave me a comment, drop me a line. All right, so I'm gonna be talking about some things that I wish I would have done prior to PA school. There's a lot, <laughs> there's not that much, but I'm gonna list off three things. Like one thing I wish I would have done prior to PA school was travel a lot more. And I, you know, I'm trying to do that now. Like, while well, I have like free time, but I honestly wish I would have traveled more because while I was in PA school, like you don't have time really and truly to do that stuff. Like, yes, we get vacations for like Thanksgiving and Christmas and my school did give us like a spring break and some like little odds and ends vacations here and there, but I mean, you're like studying the majority of the time, honestly, really and truly, and you're just kind of not in the mood. Like you're, you wanna go do stuff, but like you just feel so inundated with like pressure <laughs> that you don't realize like, hey, time is passing you by and you're not getting to experience this stuff. So had I done that prior to PA school, I think I would have like, I don't know, maybe enjoyed PA school a little bit more, like had things to look back on. I had a devotion this morning and it was talking about like, remembering the good times, right? And so essentially like, yes, when you're going through like these moments of like, ugh, I'm dying out here, you remember the blessings that God has given you in the past. And so I think if I had done that, I would have remembered those good times throughout the process and it may not have been as difficult as it was um, emotionally, I guess you could say, but who cares right now, right? I've graduated, I've gone through it, and I'm good to go. But this should be helpful for those of you who are thinking about going into PA school. Another thing that I wish I had done, I know people ask me a lot about like classes, and I typically am like, oh man, like there's not really any classes, like nothing is gonna prepare you for PA school. And although that's like kind of true, it's not completely true, there are things that you can kind of brush up on. Um, so definitely your anatomy and physiology, you can brush up on that. But one thing I wish I I had a little bit more knowledge of was pharmacology and the farm drugs. And so I didn't have to take pharmacology in undergrad. Um, some people do, but I didn't. And so when I came to PA school, I was completely like blindsided with these drugs. Like there are certain things that you had like familiarity with, like your, you know, your NSAIDs because everybody takes like an ibuprofen, but in terms of, you know, knowing like your uh, antihypertensive drugs or hyperlipidemic drugs and, you know, the classes of these drugs, the mechanisms of actions, the generic names versus the brand names, the contraindications, like these are all things that you have to know when you're dealing with pharmacology because you need to know how they will affect your patient's body, um, you know, any type of side effects that they may experience that may want them to not take the drug anymore. And for me, I was like, what? I don't know any of this. But there were students that were like nurses prior or, you know, EMTs or they were in like the emergency room. They were techs that saw like the use of these drugs like on a consistent basis and that necessarily wasn't me. And so I felt like if I had taken like a pharmacology class or had known more about pharmacology prior to PA school, it would have helped me a whole lot in my farm class because we had farm all three semesters of didactic years. So that is something if you have the ability or opportunity to do that, you know, definitely take a pharmacology class, get brushed up on those drugs, at least get introduced to the material because it will be a benefit to you in PA school. And my number one thing that I wish I would have done prior to PA school 
was learn another language and specifically Spanish. So guys, like this is like the bane of my existence, not, not being bilingual in something. And I really wish I learned how to speak Spanish. Um, you know, I had to take Spanish in like high school and I don't remember taking it in undergrad. Um, I don't think I needed it for my degree. And so with that being said, I feel like if I had taken like a year or two, like I had some friends that took Spanish or did Spanish as a minor and they went off to like Argentina and Spain for the summer and was like, you know, kind of immersed in the culture and they came back and they were like fluently speaking the language, I think man, like I would be a bomb APA. Like I would be so good because I would be able to communicate with my patients just more like fluid like, you know, I'd be able to talk to my Spanish speaking patients and understand them and understand exactly like what's going on with them instead of using a translator. Because although I don't speak Spanish fluently, there are certain words that I still remember from high school. And just in passing, like, you know, I used to be a server and a lot of the staff that I worked with were Hispanics. And so they would like teach me some phrases and words. So I do remember some things, you guys. And I know that when I'm telling you something, I'm telling my patients something through the translator, and I know when you're not telling them exactly the way that I said it. And I want it said like exactly this way. And so if I could be the one actually giving that information, I think it would be such a benefit to the actual like back and forth that you, the rapport that you would build with your patients. So definitely if you could like start from that, if you're a freshman and you're watching this or you're a senior in high school and you're watching this and you're like, man, I wanna go this medical route, the PA route, NP, like, cause this will help you across the board in healthcare. Definitely learn another language. I suggest starting off with Spanish. If you already speak Spanish, go on and try to learn French. All right, so if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have not already done so, go ahead and like this video, subscribe and follow me on Instagram at PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.